Good evening, everybody. Mr. Arun, please start. All right, sir. Good evening, all. I welcome all the dignified participants to the 98th web training series of Bharat Sahodaya. Now I take this opportunity to introduce today's moderator, Ms. Jodi Jain. She is an English educator from JBNM, a global school NOIDA, a resource person, AIEF, also called as American Indian uh, Education Foundation, and a moderator with an experience of more than a decade in teaching senior classes. She has been senior coordinator for the British Council for International School Awards, along with being an in charge for comparing and um, coordinating many inter and intra school programs. Various training sessions and presentations for British Council have chiseled her into a versatile speaker. She has conducted a webinar on techniques to master writing skills for uh, class 10 with overwhelming, overwhelming responses. She believes um, many such opportunities have excelled her communication skills and she is looking forward to offering her valuable service to CBSC Bharat Sahodaya as a moderator. So ma'am, we cordially invite you to this grand session. Over to you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. Thank you. The glory of creation is in its infinite diversity. Puppets are a favorite with everyone. But many of us do not realize the power of puppets in teaching. They are not just an aid to storytelling. If used intelligently, they can serve various purposes. Let's explore more about how to create them. Good evening and a warm welcome to today's webinar, an amazing session with our esteemed guest. As Arun sir told, this is the 98th web training series as a part of CPDs by Sahodaya. There is no greater joy than that of feeling oneself a creator. The triumph of life is expressed by the creation. We are educators. Puppetry in teaching as a tool provides teachers with one of the most inexpensive aids in the classroom. Ben benefits from puppets are many. They allow children to escape into the imaginary world. They are able to use puppets to work out their own emotional problems. The puppet acts as mask behind which the child is able to hide. They can be used to across the curriculum in the projects and crafts. Children learn to cooperate when working in a small group to produce their own puppet play. And there are infinite opportunities for sequencing, organizing, verbalizing, sorting information, and gaining self-confidence. The purpose of puppet is to create interaction, a fun dialogue basically, and even an element of surprise into your play and learn activities. Playing with puppets will benefit a child's development. The wonderful thing about puppets is that they don't have to be expensive store-bought models. But any humble sock, the odd one that always hangs around and can be made into an engaging puppet. So in continuation with our previous webinar, and as promised to you, we have brought another session of learning from puppets for you. This time, we are going to learn how to make puppets. Once again, we welcome all the educational fraternity. 
Dear participants, in today's session, we are going to talk about how to make puppets for classroom teaching, connecting the puppets to the emotions of the children, improving storytelling with puppets, manipulations or making of puppets. So without any further delay, let me share how to be a part of this session. Kindly be visible and keep your mics on mute. Any query during the webinar can be posted in the chat box. There will be a question answer round by the end of this session. You will raise your hand, we will unmute you, or alternatively, you can use your chat option to type your question at the end of the session. We will be available on YouTube. Please be attentive listener and actively participate in this session. The participants will receive a certificate only after filling the certificate and feedback form, which will be shared at the end of this session. And a humble request to all of you, stay connected till the end. It gives us immense pleasure to welcome our program director, Dr. Abdul Salam Sir, the General Secretary of CBSC Bharat Sahodaya Complex. It is rightly said, great leaders don't set out to be a leader. They set out to make a difference. Dr. Salam is one such leader who needs no introduction. Our education fraternity knows him well, as he is the soul of Bharat Sahodaya complex. It is true for Dr. Salam sir, as he is the educational iconic leader. Sir holds several positions besides being the principal of a well-reputed senior secondary school. Sir is a CBSC resource person and CGSE deputy training coordinator of Trivandrum region. He is the recipient of many iconic awards by various organizations. His mission to educate educators is an inspiration for many and his sincere efforts are surely going to make a difference in our education transformation. Dr. Salam is a true visionary and a true leader. I extend a very warm welcome to you, sir, and request you to deliver the welcome address. Over to you, sir. Thank you, uh, Ms. Jodi Jain. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. thank you. And uh, hearty welcome each and everyone. Uh, good evening, everyone. Padmini ma'am, our respected resource person today. And uh, all uh, other educators who have joined uh, this uh, 98 web series. Very glad to have been connected again. And uh, I know that there is no much room for talking uh, today because everybody is eagerly waiting for how puppetry can be, you know, uh, made effective tools in teaching. So as when we had a session with uh, Mr. Sandosh, we had, uh, you know, promised that we will be conducting a session on puppetry in education and uh, fortunate to have uh, my uh, Patmini ma'am, Patmini Rengarajan ma'am uh, with us today who is an expert, uh, a very experienced person in puppetry, who will guide us how we can make our teaching very interesting, especially when children are coming back to school. We have to give them something very interesting. Uh, definitely this puppetry uh, tool will give them a sort of, uh, a kind of involvement, a personal identification wherein they can express their feelings and uh, uh, you can develop their PSED. Uh, 
ഫിസിക്കൽ സൈക്കോളജിക്കൽ ഇമോഷണൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് സോ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് പത്മിനി മാം ഫോർ ഗിവിംഗ് യുവർ സർവീസ് ടു ദി എജ്യൂക്കേറ്റേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് താങ്ക് യു എവ്രി ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവ്രി വൺ ഹൂ ഹാസ് യു നോ ജോയിൻ ടസ് ടുഡേ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് ഹാവ് എ വണ്ടർഫുൾ സെഷൻ ഫ്രോം പത്മിനി മാം താങ്ക് യു ഓവർ ടു ജ്യോതി Thank you, sir. Padmani Rangarajan Maam, Founder, Director, Spruti Theatre, Step Park. Maam lives in the historical city of Hyderabad, India, and works in contemporary forms, tackling a variety of local and global issues. A very creative and artistic soul, she also has a sharp wit and vibrant character. characterized by the strong enthusiasm and research and passionately striving to bring in racial radical changes into training methodology for imparting knowledge to the learners ms padmani rangarajan is the recipient of tata fellowship folklore swachhita sarathi fellowship sri 2021 Shamata Innovation Foundation KIF and has also received many academic professional honors and felicitations for bringing puppetry society and life together an educational puppeteer a storyteller global research scholar in puppetry storytelling folklore sociology and education Her research work has been a part of international and national documentaries screened at various international film festivals in Europe and across the world. She holds an MPhil in sociology. She was in education and teaching field for over a decade and a lecturer of basic Chinese Mandarin and spoken English at Hyderabad. she has been a resource person for the hindu for nie newspaper in education program ccrt center for cultural resources and training hyderabad being a guest speaker for language and literary fest that's do she has also spoken for folk tales of india for storytelling and puppetry bal raksha parist pratishthan in maharashtra for bringing puppetry in society and life she has been conducting various online and offline sessions for kids teachers adults and art lovers she has been the southern india coordinator for folkathon document the undocumented on world folk day her organization step arc provides puppetry related services to researchers schools institutions corporates ngos working in tribal and rural areas in southern india to accomplish the objectives of imparting knowledge and skills through unique and innovative training methodology to bring puppetry in education further she is associated with various such organizations for conducting storytelling sessions and workshops we are honored to have you with us today ma'am we welcome you with all respect and regards here i would like to remind you all that this is an interactive session ma'am would be delighted to answer all your questions so make sure to note down your questions and ask them in the live chat imagination will take you everywhere so let's delve into the cognizance of this innovative learning on making puppets and the use in classroom teaching we are keen to explore this magical world of learning of making puppets over to you ms padmani rangarajan over to you ma'am thank you thank you so much 
Thank you so much, Dr. Abdul Salam Ji, Arun Mohan, and Ms. Jyoti Jain for including me in your program and inviting me to. As a teacher, I love to learn. I'm not an expert, sir. I'm still a learner. So I never call myself expert. I don't want that horns to be raising on my head. So as I learn, I think I'm, I'm much, much open to learn and share whatever that I know. So before I start, I am onto a, I'm now on a two campaigns. So I would like to introduce that. <clears throat> Namaste. My name is Dia hai and I am a type 1 diabetic child. Do you all know what is type 1 diabetic? It's very common among children. I've been diagnosed with it. I am into a, a food restriction. I cannot enjoy sweets that you all enjoy. Hmm. I take a small bit, of course. I need to check my glucose every now and then. I'm an insulin, but I'm normal. I can do all that you all can do. So I want you all to accept me as I am. Hope you understand what goes with type one diabetes in children. Dia, you are addressing the teachers. They'll definitely understand. You need to worry. Good, good job, Dia. Bye. So now I'm on this campaign of type one diabetes among children that is uh, fast spreading and well diagnosed and there's no a proper way of guidance and other things. And that's how I'm using my puppets in that. If you all happen to notice or diagnose or come across a child, Perhaps you need to spend some more time with the child. Yes. The second one is I'm on no plastic campaign. So in that course, I'm doing a recycling, reusing all that I have waste. So my house is a mini dump yard. So I have all the things in my workshop. I cannot just show you uh, slightly. If I move my uh, camera, I can see over there all my dump yards. So from here, I store and then I use it. So I don't generally waste. I reuse them and even teach teachers, especially whenever I conduct sessions, asking them before you spend. Think what for your spending, why are you spending? Is it worth spending? This is what I tell them. And then I tell them, just look around in your house, those things that are easily available, which you intend to throw. Maybe you can do something good with it. And also same, if a teacher does, you become a role model, your students definitely follow. They ensure that you're doing it to start with. Are you all ready to listen to my journey story? Yes? Yeah, we start. We go to the vegetable market. Shall we go to the vegetable market? Mm, glad. So Dipta Madam is nodding her head. I'm so glad. So in the market, I just went and saw, oh, Alurani, why are you sad? Well, I want to marry. Okay, that's really nice. Uh, I'm not finding a suitable groom. Oh. Mm, shall I suggest? How would that lady's finger okra be? Oh, no, no, chip chippy. Okay. How about that long, long ridge cord? Oh, too many ridges. Okay. How about... Um, 
Are you particular to marry a vegetable? Oh, yes. Okay. To think of a vegetable. Can you help me in thinking some vegetables? I'm not able to. Who could be a suitable groom for her? You have decked so well, you have decorated so well, you look so pretty. Mm -hmm. What shall we suggest? I don't know. Let me think. I don't know. She's not agreeing with the. Hey, pumpkin! Oh. What a choice! I don't like the fat man. But you two, uh, no, you're slim. Mm -hmm. That's my uncle and aunts, the big potatoes. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> uh, who shall I? I don't know. Let me look. Mm -hmm. Green chilies. Oh, that's to spice up sometime. Not for a long term. Oh, yeah. I do. She needs a vegetable. Ooh, here comes. Who is he? Uh, he is a Bridgie. Hi. Oh, pretty young lady. How are you? Yes. Wow, she looks so wonderful. Maybe I was looking for her. Prince was looking for you. What's this? I don't want to marry him. Prince, does he suits well with me? Does he goes well with me? I'll go and I don't know. Yeah, he goes well with you. Yeah, I have tried. Super combination, you know. You should make one such curry. Oh my God. Oh, oh. You are not talking to me. Say, we both are of the same nature. What do you mean of the same nature? Well, if you are peeled and kept for a long time, you become black and I too become black. So we are of the same nature, so we blend very well. Oh yeah, uh, but your big, big eyes, oh, you're so full of my eyes. I knew, my darling, you like my eyes. You like, oh. oh, there comes a pair, right. Finally, somehow, Alu found her mate. Bringy. A simple story, but this story I don't tell like this to the children. Yeah, just for you all, you can modify your story. Well, there are lots of vegetables at home, sometimes one or two. When we take and make a simple puppet out of it, we can do anything. Maybe whenever you go to shop or anything, you can just look for some vegetables. You need not waste many. Maybe one, one, one you can choose. When you need to talk about its properties, why we need to eat vegetables. Children don't like vegetables. Children don't like fruit. You try to make, make them, teach them how to make, tell them their properties, ask them to come out with what they like, what they don't like, and make them to say, yes, every vegetable has some property, some goodness, and we need to take it. In moderate, everything is fine. Anything excess is not that good. From there, from there, I just moved, moved further and I'm looking for, where did she go? Where did she go? She was here. Mm, right. Hey, why are you closing your, uh, come on, why are you closing your eye? Hey, come, 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 no, come on. Oh, okay, 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 I'm covering, I'm covering, okay. She doesn't want you all to see her. Uh, Miss Anita Thakur has given a hand raise. Can you, 
Yes, Miss Anita, you can just ask me if you have anything to ask. I uh, hope it is, she doesn't have anything. All right, uh, come out. No, uh, they're going to laugh. Oh, nobody's going to laugh, come out. Oh no, come out. Nobody's going to laugh at her. Nobody's going to comment at her. Yeah, that's a deal. Yeah? Come out. Come out. Say hi to them. Hi. Hello. They are not telling me. Oh, they are telling. See, they are waving their, they are waving their hands. See, see, see. What happened? What happened? What happened? You are a pretty girl. Bold girl. Beautiful girl. Isn't she beautiful? She's very mad. See, they say you're beautiful. I have this patches. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Hmm. Your heart is beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. No need to worry about your complex. No need to worry about your scars. She is like one of us, yeah? So I'm being made out of a stained strainer, which my house owner used for long. The day she felt that I was of no use, she threw me in the dustbin. I was picked by this lady who is behind. I, she made me like this. Mm -hmm. Because you are useful. Mm -hmm. So I made you like this. So this is a puppet made out of tea strainer. A plastic tea strainer that I generally tell that as I'm already into the campaign and we generally throw. And uh, these are some of the cloths, bits of cloths that we usually have. And we ladies have lots of cloths at home. So many old dupatas because we keep changing and going along with the trend of fashion. So we keep, you know, uh, our wardrobe keeps uh, changing every now and then. And sometimes we have lots of lots of energy. We don't know what to do. So in a way, it's a recycling of your own clothes, your own material, which you need not even go out hunting. Hey, where can I buy? What can I do? A simple thing can go. And these are the uh, extra pieces I have for the eyes the drawing pins I had and something like you can use whatever that you have and then you can use it and you can use it. This becomes a simple rod puppet because there's a rod here for the hand moment and that there's a rod, the handle of the strainer that we can use as for the moment. So this is a simple rod puppet. So isn't it easy to make? Quite easy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I have her companion somewhere here. I shall uh, show you all. In the meantime, before I go with showing you some more, I want you all to be a part of one of my activities. Are you all ready? Yep. Now, as I had not told you to get any materials, this is very easily available. One is if you have some newspapers, somewhere there where you can just grab, take in a newspaper. One second is you need to have some cloth. It could be a dupatta, it could be a towel, it could be anything, a piece of cloth. If, if it is quite close or nearby where you need not to search, doesn't matter what color or what, it can be in it. The reason for this activity is, though I am not trained in puppetry, I, I have been into this field by accident. And later during my research and other things, and when I go and I, I'm being invited and I'm into some uh, learning sessions, 
I'm in fact doing uh, my learning uh, certificate course in therapeutic puppetry because the, I'm from the psychology school. So a puppet is a lifeless. You need to put in the life. You're the puppet manipulator. The way you manipulate as a puppeteer, the one who handles the puppet, one who breathes in the life into the puppet, then the puppet comes to life. And in India, we don't have a puppet talking. The traditional puppets in India are all with mouth closed. Uh, yes, Sudipta? You need to unmute, unmute. Uh, Sudipta has something to ask. Can she be unmuted? Um, they can raise their hand if they have any questions. Yeah, Sudipta. Sudipta has raised her hand. Yeah, Sudipta, you have anything? I think Sudipta is there. I can see her, but I don't know. <laughs> there are so many of <laughs> Well, uh, Sudipta, may, yes, you can either uh, post it in the chat so that we can, we all can have. If you are not, we are not able to reach you out. That also is fine. Uh, shall I continue? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma please. All right, Sudipta, Sudipta, you can you can post in the chat. I can also I shall also look into it and also somebody will uh, uh, help me out in that. All right, all right. Oh, where I was I lost something. All right. I wanted, I, uh, when I was undergoing or when I was looking into the technicality aspect, I was telling about the life and the breathe. A puppet, you make it in whatever way. If the design is also not well, if it is not made well also, it's perfectly fine. Unless a puppet is not moving well. If a puppet does not move well, then it's not a good art of puppetry. A puppet needs to move well. The movements of the puppet is itself a language in the absence of language. They need not be a particular language. Yeah, I need to be uh, presenting it in English or any other languages. No, silence itself is a wonderful language with the movement of puppet. We can still guess what the puppet is trying to communicate. So let's go and do one small such exercise, an activity which you can teach your children. This helps them in building their concentration. And I have tried it with children as well as with uh, uh, adults, especially uh, I would like to show you the puppet that used in my classroom. Sure, sure, you can show. Good, I'm very glad. Uh, I use it even with the Parkinson's uh, patients because they need it. So it is a wonderful activity. Now I have just taken a big newspaper, then I want you all to crumble it. Don't tear it, be gentle. And maybe somewhere you need to twist, just for the head position. And this is for the leg position. No, don't ask me, where are the hands? Not at the moment. Hands are, hands are not tied up, tied back, all right? So this is your puppet's head, and this is your puppet's leg. Am I, is it visible to all? Okay, all right. Now, as I said, a puppet needs to breathe. That's the most important thing. Now, how do we all breathe? Just feel the breath. Something goes in, something goes out, right? We are able to sense that. The same thing should happen with the puppet. That itself is a movement. How will this do? How can we breathe? Oh, no, 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 not going behind. All right. Now, gently push, release. Push, 
Luis. Can you sense the breathing here? Is the puppet breathing? Yeah, the puppet is breathing. Now it's into life. And this is the head. Can you turn the head with breathing? Can you just turn the head to the right, the left, to the right, to the left. Can you make the puppet move? Ah, oh, something scary. No, 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 we are not going there. No, no, dangerous. All right, a simple exercise and activity which will make an eye and hand coordination will help the children to concentrate and watch they are moving, where they are moving, what they are saying. It's a focusing. Now we are usually ask the children, focus, focus. So where do they focus? They need to focus on something. So giving this kind of activity makes them to focus. So this activity gives an exercise to the brain. Similar with the cloth, you can also use a towel or something and make the same. And this has more flexibility than the mm, uh, your uh, paper because it is fabric and it moves and all. You can make uh, variations. You can make it into a snake, you can make it into a garland, you can make it into a zero, you can do whatever you, you can. It is again a prop wherein such props can be converted into puppet models for teaching, right? When we go further, we, uh, I usually come across anything such thing some lying here. Can you guess what this could be? Yes, yes, yes. The handle was broken, so no more use for playing. So good use for my puppet. So we have lots of emotions. We need to check with lots of emotions. And some, sometimes we have conversations where we need to build in when we are teaching languages. So we need to have two characters and we don't have much. So this alternatively becomes a two character. You can use some garment or you can use a color sheet or a paper or something to wrap it. And then you can start. So this can also go in for your teaching. Now, before I show some of some more of my, I have lots of here here. I've just gathered whatever I could, I could uh, to show you all to share with you all, so that somewhere something you all feel like doing, you, you get an inspiration. How do you use it? That's uh, more important. Well, you make a puppet. Fine, you found some uh, waste material lying. You convert it into it. Wonderful. How do you take it up in the class? That's more important. Stick puppet. Yes, there are varieties of puppets uh, and there are many combinations coming in. Uh, so stick puppet is also an uh, 
a stick puppet comes under a rod category of uh, rod puppet, right? So how do you use it? Now, when you take a puppet in your hand, I don't know why all my puppets are so shy today to come out. Too many people to see them, maybe because of that. Right. Oh, what happened to your hair? hair? I got scared. All right. Now, when you have uh, too many, uh, uh, you have puppets, then you need to take it to the classroom. Then you are taking to the classroom. It's a socks puppet. A simple socks I have used that we use for the schools and every year children keep changing their socks because of the size and this own and tone goes grace. And here again, I have not done anything great. I've just kept some hair uh, here and uh, made some nose and everything on the uh, socks. I have built in, I've given some stuffing inside, nothing more. There are ways of making a socks puppet, different ways are there. So this is one of the techniques, simple technique. So this, the way the mouth part is coming, it is a heel, heel of a socks. When you just keep it straight, so this is a heel. You can just see, I've just put my hand over there and just giving it a moment so that it also talks. And for uh, some color combination, I have used the nose of a uh, different socks, cut it into a piece and I have again stuffed and put it on. Very simple, same way for the ears. Okay, so when you go with a puppet in a class, this puppet itself can act as what you want to be the puppet to be. Supposing when I started teaching children languages, so my uh, challenge in the initial grammar class was to teach them tenses, of course, with verbs and nouns, and of course, those, these were the great challenges. So I converted my puppets as such. Now this is a puppet, then if I want to make this as a noun, so I used to give her a letter N and say, I'm a noun puppet. So now as a noun puppet, I need to introduce what I am. So what is a noun? Don't ask that, that we ask for the children. So you don't ask us. Oh, okay, fine. So similarly with the verb, so I go with the one more, I'm just giving a character. This character is more likely to attract a child. It attracts a child's attention. Something is going on. What is that N? Why madam has written N? What is that N? Is her name? Nikila, Nita, Nitu? No, she is English grammar uh, puppet. So she's with N, letter N, letter V. Letter A, go on. So she will introduce name of a place or a thing. All are my relatives. Really? Oh, yes. Uh, for instance, um, uh, Abdul Salam, sir. Abdul Salam, name. He is my relative. Oh, Jyoti is my relative. Oh. Um, Jayashree also is my relative. How come? They all are your relative? Bombay is also my relative. Kolkata is my relative. Achungudi is also my relative. Oh my God. she is talking about. She talks about all of the names and says, we are related places. She says, related? Yes, they all are my related. And when I take a puppet into the class, I'm not going with a screen behind. I'm visible along with my puppet. We need not go with the screen behind of the traditional concept that the, it should be there behind and we need to play that. That's a one part and one way of doing it. Best way I felt is making my puppet visible along with me and taking close to the children. The children get a feel. Many children touch, some even pinch. And there are some, some emotionally disturbed children 
who would even squeeze and hit and bang and do what not even may pull out from your hand and throw out. Don't get disturbed. The, the child is disturbed over there. That has to be addressed. That your puppet is making to ventilate. So you need to look into it because that's a classroom and you're the teacher and they spend almost eight hours with you in a day. So you know the child much, much well or better than the parents themselves know about their own child. This is again my experience when I was uh, working for an organization. Aggressive child, emotionally disturbed child used to just not like, throw it away, pull, pull it away. I have seen my puppet being stamped down. Though I used to feel very, very sad, but I used to feel more sad for the child because what's happening to the child, that has to be addressed. And when we started getting the counseling done and checking with the behavior aspect and other things and all, the same child, the same child after a course was so friendly and was asking, ma'am, shall we make puppets? very am uh, amazing art. As I said, I'm doing a therapeutic course on this also because I'm taking it further. So you can do this, go with this. Doesn't this look so simple? I'm just taking you gradually, upgrading you. So when I come to the higher level, then it becomes a too big. All right. Oh, madam, you're showing everything with the uh, cardboard, keyboard and all. I have lots of papers and card sheets. What shall I do? Oh, wonderful. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, here comes Miss Piggy. Yeah, and she can move her head. Right? Now, such kind of drawing can also make an interesting activity. So it's again a creative activity. Now always I integrate, I integrate language, with the subject, with the learning. So everything on par goes on a straight line. So you, when you make a pig or something like this, and you're talking about a pig, you're talking about the animals, you talk about its characters, you talk about what it is and what kind of animal and everything. Then you build up a story and we have lots of story, fairy tale and other things. So there are so many Western stories on pigs. If you are interested, you can pick it up or you can create by yourself also. Once in a jungle, there was a lion. Mm. Long, long time ago, I have not tasted a pig. Oh, say, pig makes it very, very tasty. Mm. So I make a declaration today. Tomorrow, I want to have a roasted pork. And there was only one pig, a nice pig, a friendly pig. <gasps> oh my God, I might be roasted tomorrow. What would happen if I'm eaten? Who will clean the filth that is there around? I need some help. Let me think of a plan. Next morning, when the Miss Piggy went to the lion. Uh, hello, King Lion. I'm glad to be uh, your food for today. Mm, but if you help me in fulfilling one of my works, what's that? Well, I clean up the filth around our surrounding every day. So as I'll be your food for today, nobody will clean it up. So before I become your food, I, I want to clean it up and I want your help. My help? Uh, 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 yes, um, King Lion. Okay, what's the great hearted king? <laughs> then the lion goes over there and sees all the surroundings and he just, Ooh, awful, awful. Ooh, do we live in such a land? Oh my God. No, 
uh, I grant you a life. You are spared. Uh, I cannot do, do this work. Uh, Miss Piggy, uh, you better do your work and I will see you later. Uh, but what about your food? Uh, today I'm fasting. Don't worry. Don't worry. Fasting is good for health. Sometimes we need to do that. I cannot clean this room. Oh my God, it is stinking. <laughs> so I keep telling children that every animal, every creature in the world, in this universe made by the Almighty has a purpose. They are with a purpose, made with a purpose. There is a food chain going along. It call a, it's a balance. And if we disturb a balance, so a science teacher would be more better to help and add up how the food chain goes and what, what happens if it is disturbed and all. They can talk about the environment also. Right. Then as I was going along, going along, chitu, chitu, chitu. Yeah. I'm a bird. I love flying. I fly high, high, high. Mm, it's all the freshness. Mm, you see, I have two wings. I have a tail. And if you want to contact, drop me a mail. Bye-bye. Well, this again is made out of a fabric of a cotton dupatta. OK. Uh, anybody has any questions you can ask me before I go further how to make or how water to show you all? Then. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. The voice modulation is a part of when you do it. Uh, it's a part of the art. So try to make or mimic one or two voices. Uh, can you make, uh, yeah, there is some, some, let me see that. That's quite interesting, I found. Can you make what? What's the chat? Uh, somebody had given. Can you make one puppet and show? Definitely, that's what I was asking for. Lovely. So now I jump into it. Yes. Again, for this, I shall be asking or I shall be telling you, I cannot ask you. I shall tell you to use the things. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have this Everest chat masala, okay? Before I start making this, let me clear up my table. The main table has lots and lots of things which I can show you again while doing or uh, before I conclude. A simple, simple puppet which you can make and teach your children also. Uh, this art is slightly different from the ventriloquist. Ventrilia Quest used the dummy puppets of a mouth opened, whereas uh, I prefer not to go with that. Not that it is not good, it's wonderful, but I prefer to go with one which is closed because I follow the tradition and I am into the research of doing it. So I, I, go, I go with that. So if you, I do have a couple of uh, mouth open puppets, a big size, uh, not here. It's in my stair, uh, in my workshop uh, room inside. So I need to pull everything out before I show. Whatever I can, I'll definitely do it. I will just clear this so that I can show you all. Okay. Before I can show you something, this is again the uh, backside of you. Some puppets are there. So for that which material you have used, I shall definitely do that. They come at the end. They are. A special appearance guest for today's class. All right, I'll show them at the end. All right, before I go further, this is a simplest puppet, which even your children will enjoy doing. And this talks about science. If there is any science teacher can explain me, what does this talk about? You can put it in your chat. 
Yeah, a simple science concept. All right, what I have done for this, if you can look, on, uh, look it uh, uh, closely, I have taken a piece of card. Of course, I've taken two. I've taken two piece, I folded it. Mm. Let me take a card piece so that I can show. Okay, I take a card piece like this. I have folded it into two. You can use even your, uh, for a best thing, if you want, you can even, even use your, um, what we call, a lot of uh, Amazon materials come in a package, right? The boxes, cotton boxes. You can use them, you can use them too. The same technique, if you want to make a build, a big one, the one I made with the, those packages I have inside, I'll just show you. You can even, a motion, wonderful, 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 talking one, lovely, 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 Sudipta. Um, you can even use them. Uh, uh, when you're making a bigger one, you can use them. It becomes a big size. This is for a smaller, tiny piece if I want to show. But I don't uh, advise this for the lower classes. Uh, if they are four and five and they are quite okay, then you can say, because here, if you see, there are some joints. I have used a needle and thread for them. So when you are asking your children to use a needle and thread and make a puppet like this and talk about something, then we, they need to be very, very careful and they have to use needle and thread and scissors under uh, adult supervision, all right? So uh, if they are a smaller class on one and two, I would better not ask them to do this, maybe you or you can take the help of their parents. Maybe you can involve them in the drawing and other things. Yeah, those things you can ask them to do. Yeah, just things you can, I, have, I use needle and thread for the reason. You can also use the fastening uh, double tongue uh, pins, but I use needle and thread for the reason that I work with underprivileged section. So wherein the materials are very, very sc scanty and we cannot afford and the sessions and all don't afford much. So in that case, I need to use whatever the resources I have with me. So in that case, I use needle and thread. That's it, all right? When you do like this, what you need to do is you need to draw a picture, some picture. So for drawing a picture, you need to have a little black. I just draw a head. I shall show you again. Okay. For the body, you need to have a body. Just I'm giving a, while doing, you can also talk about the shapes. Shapes, you can talk about the shape. What is the shape? All right. So I have folded it. Remember, I have folded it. All right. Then I'm also taking a, two curves. For the legs and for the hands, again, from here. You can either uh, use the same uh, template or you can even do the external, that's also fine. No issues. You can also make an external template and cut it. Also no, no issues. Now, why I pick up such simple uh, designs is to make every child to participate. There are some children telling that I don't know to draw. I don't like drawing or something like they don't know. Or please draw on the board and show. Or please show me some picture or something like a very simple, simple curves. There's nothing like in there. And we are talking about the shape. So you go on talking about the shape and start drawing it. And finally, you're making a puppet. So it's integrating. You're integrating the language, you're integrating the subject, you're also making a puppet. The approach is that. So all with the circles, just with a circle, you can make a wonderful puppet. You can make. And now once you cut it out, once you cut it out, you have, you're supposed to cut the head and the body as one piece, this, this, this. The upper arm, 
as one piece, the lower arm and the hand as one piece, or you can even have multiple, no issues. You can even cut them separate. Similarly with the same. And this leg cuts up into separate piece. This also cuts into separate piece. So you'll have how many pieces? This is, this is a one hole, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you want to cut it further, it's your uh, wish. Let's not make it too complicated. Okay, now we have all this. Now we can ask the child to decorate. They will decorate very well, whatever they want to do. So front of the puppet, as we have two sides, it will be uh, for two sides. We'll have, we are going to have two templates. So front, you make the eyes and everything. The other side, if you want, you can make a female or a male or other side, you can make the back of the puppet like I have made it here. This is the back, this is the front. This is the back. Okay. So this puppet comes from the Jumrutalaya. Jum, 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 jum. Acrobatic. Yeah. Now yeah, you need to join. Once you're cut, you need to join. Simple, simple thing. Join it here. I have just stitched it. I can even show you the openings. I have stitched it. Stitched it. And joined it here. All the two, two templates, I've joined it. And in between, I've just put in a stick for the grip. Then you can have this Jumrutalaya toy, plain toy, and it keeps rotating. And you can talk about the motion, what happens when you move, how you move, why it is able to rotate. The main reason also for that. Again, a science. You're teaching them science. Simple scientific things, simple science that we have, see every day to day life and you're explaining them so well that you cannot find a child telling that, oh, I don't like this, like science. Oh, I dislike math. Even for the mathematics, even for the mathematics, I use all this. Uh, 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 before I go, up, go on making a puppet out of this, uh, uh, these kind of a boxes, it can be a soap box or it can be a box or something we buy already. Madam, what are innovative ideas created? Oh my God. I, you keep working, you will do wonders better than me. I have seen many teachers doing much, much better and I'm learning from that, right? It's just a sharing. You just get, sometime you get an idea, you share it. When you start exploring it, you will share back to me and I'll be wondering, oh my God, I didn't think like this. It happens, all right? So these kind of boxes, when you want to teach uh, children, especially when I started with third and fourth and all, when I wanted to teach them the place value uh, as a subject matter. So I covered the whole thing with a paper. I covered the whole thing with a paper and I gave a numbering. Maybe I drew some eyes and nose. That's again your wish. So now when I go with the puppet one, if I go with the puppet named one, can you just give me, can put it in the chat. Can you give me, what are the things that you identify with number one? One, what are the things in the universe? Just tell me. Sun, wonderful. We have one sun for the moment. Moon, wonderful. Wonderful. Nose. Earth, one nose. <laughs> okay. Mouth. Okay, tongue. Luckily, we have one tongue. Oh, how much of problem that is creating. Uh, forehead, all right, okay. Now, what do you all identify with two? What are the things that you can identify with two? Eyes, pair of eyes, wonderful, ears, nostrils, legs and hands, okay. Not nose, nostrils, okay. Okay, eyebrows. Okay, can we all move out of our own self? I think we all are becoming more conscious of our own self. Can we move a little bit out? And think, two. What are the things that you see, two? Lungs, all right. Mm -hmm. Day and night, lovely. Uh, kidneys, okay. Bills of a bike, okay. With a bicycle, well, parents as a mother and father, all right, wonderful, wonderful, limbs, wonderful, right, wonderful, wonderful. What all you can think of six? Six. Oh my God, I never knew you would give us a test, madam. 
All right, ants, lovely, insect, wonderful. What about nine? Nine. Six cents, all right, planets, solar system. Wonderful, wonderful. What else? Nine planets. What else can you think of nine apart from planet? Navratnas, yeah. Gem, nine gems, yes. Navratnas, yeah. Planets, yeah. In our dance, traditional dance, and also in the drama, we have Navras. Nine forms of emotions. Navratri, celebration. Wonderful, wonderful. Simi Gulati, what that you want to ask, you can ask me. I don't know. Maybe their child is telling something and the hand is raised. All right, all right. Okay, now you can have some play, quick play or something. And after a ice breaking section, then you can make a puppet it can be a stick puppet or you can even drill a hole and you can make a finger puppet also. Or if you don't want to drill a hole or something like, you can even put a tape at the back or a support for the finger as a roll. Mm. I believe some child is getting too tired. Maybe the mother needs to attend to the child. Please go and attend to the child. Our Sudipta, nine types of pulses. Lovely, lovely, lovely roll. Yes, yes, roll. Parrot making out of roll. Yes, yes, Sudipta, you're absolutely right. I'm just showing you how to just make, a, 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 I'm just trying to make a loop at the back so that it holds. in order to show you all, or just to explain you all. Uh, when I conduct my wholesome exercise or workshop, then I ask all the lists and I give the list and everything. And they say, okay, now we are going to make, and that becomes sometimes uh, one day or three day exercises, workshop kind. All right, I've just sealed it at the top so that it doesn't open and I have made a, a loop at the back so that I can fix putting my fingers into it and the stand as a support. Now here, what I do is I cover this either with a color paper or a plain paper or something. Now then I go with numbering as one. I go with numbering as two, I go with numbering. As, so I collect over a period, I collect some 10. So we have a zero to nine. I think that should be fine. No curve, very good. We can go with that zero to nine. And now we can go with the place value game. What happens if I move the zero in one day, all the numbers were making fun of zero. Oh my God, you don't have any value. Oh, he's a fool. Look how he looks, ah, oh, zero. And the zero was so unhappy. It went to the mother numbers and cried. Why did you create me with of no use? She said, no, 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 absolutely. You have a wonderful value. All are making fun of me. They don't know the importance of you. Come, you should play a game. Said the mother of numbers. So you can have two numbers and go with the children. What happens if you put zero before the number, what is the value of the number? And if you put zero next to the number, what happens to the value of the number? The place value changes because of the zero, isn't it? So is the case with decimal point, just a dot. So all that you make and put only one point, that point, if it is moved right to left, or left to right, what happens? You can talk about that. You can even talk about the uh, ascending and descending order signs, which children get confused a lot, lot, lot. You can talk about that. 
You can do wonderful things. The children will come and start placing the things and they lie. They learn. The concept is very clear and concrete. You can also go interested with the teaching measurements, units, units of measurements. So I made a big family of measurements, placing them as great grandfather, grandfather, father, mother, children, tang, 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 tang. So how many, how many, how many, how many, placing them and changing them and telling them that this is the whole thing going on. You can have wonderful thing going on. That's just a creativity of the thing as your the, you have the expertise in the subject, so you need to know how you can build it now. Right. Now, as I have been requested to show a puppet, so I'm just removing the loop. And this is a small box, empty box. You can take any of this. And then I ask the children, again, everything is mathematics in puppet making. You keep learning, right? Then you have to have a measurement. Just measure how big it is, the length of the box. So it uh, says it is around... Uh, 11 centimeter. What is half of 11 centimeter? I'm not sure. Four? No. 4.5? No. Five? 5.5. Five. Thank you. So what I do is I make a marking at 5.5. By the way, before I go to make my marking, I want to talk to you about this box. This box has Six sides, six faces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Can you just tell me this box is made up of what shape? Cuboid, yes, I'm a cuboid. Can you just tell me out of what I'm made? I'm made of rectangles. Yeah, rectangles, great. What's a rectangle? A rectangle is a rectangle. I know that, but what's a rectangle? A rectangle. What's a rectangle? A rectangle. The opposite sides are equal. Oh, okay. A four sided figure. Lovely. Right, okay, so this is that. Oh, opposite sides are equal, and one right angle has four sides one, two, three, four. They get to touch. See, everything involves in involve sensory thing when you're teaching because the more we involve the feel of touch, the feel of seeing oneself, the learning becomes quite, quite, quite easy and simple. That just telling you, imagine a rectangle or imagine a cuboid, I become blank. So maybe there are children me who need something to be concrete given in the hand. I touch, I'm able to feel, and I give me to get. Oh, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, perfect. All right, 5.5. 5. All right, what I do is I'm going to use the three sides. Top. I'm not going to use bottom. I'm not going to use. I mean, I'm not going to disturb back. I'm not going to disturb. Thank you so much for your wonderful response. I enjoyed it. I'm going to use the front and the two sides. All right. Now, as I've been given that 5.5 is the center, uh, uh, is half of 11 centimeter. Let me mark it on my scale somewhere here. Mm, and I draw a line. Uh, this uh, box is slightly of my color, dark in color, from, but uh, I hope you can see the line. This is a very simple technique. And whenever the child is throwing away the soap box or something empty box, ah, it would say, no, 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 no. Give it to me. My teacher is going to teach me a puppet. All right. I hope you can see the marking somewhere I have done like this. Okay. All right. Then I take my pair of scissors. And when you're working with children, Ask them to be very, very careful and tie and cut at one end. And this I poke, I poke, and I just cut it. I cut the marking. Okay. I cut the marking. Right. I've just cut. Uh, involving sense organs will be more effective. One definitely, definitely. That's how our Indian system of education was developed. Somewhere in the middle, we have lost. 
and luckily we are getting back and blessed us you people are into teaching uh, field and the children are uh, children will definitely learn much much better all right when i cut the three sides i've cut the three sides marking i'm not at the back now by this itself when i move it would what happened i did not cut it through when I move, 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 when I move, it itself can talk. Can you be able to see? It talks. Yeah, this is one way of making a simple puppet. Now, I'm not going to make this. This is one technique. Now, what I do is I say gently, I bend it, bend it, bend it, and I hold it like this. This is, when I put it like this, this is comfortable for making. I need not have to move head like this. Now I'm going to convert this into a wonderful, 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 what, wonderful what? What you want me to do? What you want me to do? I don't know what sheets I have. And the same what sheets I have so that uh, I can convert it into that. Okay. Yeah, I have, I'm looking for anything that is, uh, mm, okay, I have this. This is light in color. All right. But now what I do is, I take this, I place it on my sheet and draw the outline. I draw it and show it to you. I need to move the camera and here I have my puppets on the other side. I need to remove them to move my camera. I'm just drawing and showing it to you. It's not a big deal, you all can understand. Okay. I've just made a marking of the this after the food all right and once i make it i straighten it a little bit it's not uh, it has not come very straight or clean on it or something and when i do i'm just doing using a, a black sketch so that it's visible but usually it's better to use a pencil so that we can erase it all right the markings and all all right and i am also marking where the cut comes i'm also marking that an indication for me that's an indicator we need to have that that's a prime indicator so i'm going to join that all right what i have done what i have done i took the marking and this the middle marking is the indicator of the cut and why do you have it we need to have because this becomes the upper face this becomes the lower face and we don't we are not going to make mouth the mouth is already made with the cut so we are not going to make it all right now when what happens if i cut it to the same marking what happens if i cut it to the same mark? a frog and a crocodile we can make easily through this definitely you can even make any other animals i'll show you one what happens if you want to make a cut with this marking Sometimes the cut is so proper. We don't want to show that we are using a box behind for the operation. Clear? We, are, we don't want to show this. We want to hide it. For hiding this, we need, we need a figure slightly bigger than the marking. We need a bigger than the marking. So let me do it and show you. So what I do is I'm just extending myself and going beyond and I'm just doing like this. I'm extending myself. So I'm going slightly beyond. Can you see this? I'm going beyond, all right? Because I'm not going to cut at the mark, all right? And then the upper portion is only for my eyes and the nose and the ear or something like. I'm not going to deal with the mouth. Mouth we are not going to. And this is lower mouth, a chin portion, all right? Now let me see what I can do with this color sheet that I have, uh, snack. Oh, I didn't understand. All right.
I'll show you. I'm just drawing it here and show you what I'm drawing. I am not coloring it. I'm just doing it in a using my black thing. You can color it when you want to. Okay. Okay. You can make veil also. I don't know what it is, but I made something that I know. Yeah, anybody had to say something about that? Okay, I've just made something like this. It can be a sunflower. Yeah, it can be, yes. Now I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut this into two parts. I'm very, very cruel woman. Whenever I do something of my puppet making, I start cutting it into two pieces. Oh, very bad like that, all right? Okay, this is the upper portion. It can be a line too. Yeah, it can be a line. And now I want to go uh, for the mouth. For the mouth, again, you can make a palette. You can use a pink color or something like this. You can go here, take marking, take a, take, take a marking of this and you can use this as a palette or you can paint, yeah. Now this, this face would go here on the upper side. All right, I'm just gluing it. Glue, 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 glue. Gluing it. And, all right, the lower one, the time it dries, let me go cut the lower part. And most of the, uh, most of the time, uh, my favorite material to work for a puppet making is paper mache, paper, and cardboard. So for all my big puppets, I use lots of paper mache technique. All right, the lower one, I'm fixing it that too. Right. 
now I have not fixed inside anything. You can fix and then your puppet will start talking. So when you talk, when you talk, always remember you are not supposed to talk like this when you're using any mouth opening puppet. The puppet should talk like this. Move this, all right? So there's a technique. So if you use it, then you can do it. Madam, can you tell us paper mache technique in short? Definitely. Uh, I use lots of uh, newspapers. Uh, what I do, again, it's a very simple technique, a known technique, then I uh, make it into, I cut it into pieces. We don't use a scissor for the reason. They say uh, it doesn't bend well. That's the reason they say just tear it off into our small pieces. So, and then I soak it in water along with the uh, crystal salt. Uh, this is the technique that I have learned. That's how I'm making it. Crystal salt. And I also use a handful of methi seeds, fenugreek seeds, I soak it also. Then after I wash this, uh, water for almost three or four times. The quicker way to make it is to use a hot water uh, than keeping it for a long time. Like some uh, artists who work with paper mache as a main media, they make it for a long duration, like six, seven days. Maybe they keep uh, changing the water and then moving and moving and moving in a big barrel they do and it definitely has a kind of a stink i don't know if you are comfortable mostly not you will not be i've got used to it but that's how they do the traditional way of doing the more they move in the water 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 then you it starts loosening itself and they use it and they power uh drain the excess water and they pound it well along with the fenugreek seeds and they store, dry it. They dry it under the hot sun. When it is dry, it dries like a chunks, paper chunks. These paper chunks are collected and stored uh, when it is totally dried. And whenever they want to make a paper mache thing, they take some uh, chunks, sprinkle some water, and then start pounding it, the piston and the mortal. And then it becomes like a clay. And to add, to give, the stickness, you can add a corn flour, you can add a fevicol, it'll act like even because uh, paper clay with fenugreek seed is susceptible for uh, what you call uh, insects and other things to protect, they use all this. And then you start molding, it starts molding. Again, when it starts drying, it emits a kind of a smell. So these are the two things we need to be very, very, Mm, uh, methi uh, is acts like a binder. Methi has that stickiness. It acts like a binder. And salt, I was told by my teacher, my craft teacher, salt has that uh, preventive methods. That's the reason they use, and I use that. That's how I'm making it. And the paper mache puppets are these. These are all paper mache puppets. The heads made is of paper mache. And this is again a cloth, and this is a hand glove puppet. Uh, very effective for the classroom teaching. This becomes quite effective. So this is our paper machine. Now, when you make up this, you need to be sure of the head size. If the head is of a too bigger size and you're inserting your finger, if you're using it for a long time, you're going to fracture your finger. So be careful of that. The head should be of a very small size. This is again, my grandma Chalama. Telema party is also a paper mache made. She is my anchor. She anchors my uh, shows and other things. Telema party. Uh, children are very fond of her because she tells lots of stories to them. Of course, not to me. So she's again a hand puppet. The head is paper mache. And uh, this tiger is again a paper mache. So for the base of the tiger, I have used the box, box as a base. And on the box, I started initially when I was doing, I didn't know how to go about. I started making a strip of newspapers. I started wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. So when it was dry, I got the shape of a box, any box that we have in the house for the storage. It's a long face. So once I got the long face of the required size, 
Then I built in all this, this little bit and all I built on top of that box. So that also can a technique can work if you don't know to mold, like if you are not very good in uh, molding and making sculpting, this technique is very simple. Paper strips, long paper strips, horizontal, vertical onto the box, plastic box or even uh, steel box, anything can go of the size. Then you have to, once it dries, it leaves. So it has, it retains the shape. You can go with that. That also is possible. And this was made out of a foam. Yeah, he is made out of a foam. He also talks, he loves talking and eating a lot. Okay. Yeah, now you need, to, or you can also make a simple way of making even this. Uh, Sunita Naidu, yes, please. A simple way. Well, I don't know. I don't want to make all that. Okay, you can draw. And I've used only crayons, if you can see it. At the back, I've fixed it to the stick. And this is, again, a cardboard that we get in the packing and all everything. So I have used the same. So this is almost uh, 12 years now. This also can be done if you are, oh my God, I cannot go with all this. This also can be done. Yes, Sunita had to ask something. I don't know. I don't know if you have to let me know if you are running out of time, then I have to. Okay. Well, I, I'm not really sure what all to show you, but still I'm. Okay. This also can be done using a clock peg. Simple, you can even go with this. Or you can go with Muttu Lakshmi. Let's see what I have used for her dress and garments. Yeah, she is again a cloth peg. You can go with that. Or you can go even with simple thing of making a head. And joining. We get lots of uh, cardboard things with our, when we buy garments and other things, we get a lot of things or we are cereal boxes. We get a lot of cardboard. You can use that. This is a cereal box. You can see at the back using the same and making and coloring and making it. And I, I keep using all these wrappers that I, I get from the biscuits and other things. I don't throw away, I use them for my uh, puppets as a garment. Because my I'm on to this awareness camp too, so I use that. Yes, now you have to let me know uh, how much time I have or anyone has any questions to carry on or do you want to know anything more? I can let you know how to go further. I can, I'll be of some help. Yes, so this uh, Mm. Yes, Sudipta. Ma'am, will you please show us the palms just behind you, the green palms? What is that behind you on the wall? Up this? On the wall. Yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> These are birds made out of. Oh. Yeah, puppets made out of birds, a bird puppet made out of palms. Palms act like a wings. This is a roll paper roll, the one which you made parrot. Yeah. Uh, this is a palm of our size. Yeah. So yeah. make it for I the made a smaller one. Yeah, it can make whatever. This is again, a smaller one for the chain. It's yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. And somebody was asking about, uh, yeah, this is the most important I should show you all because you all are teachers. I had done this long back for a school wherein they asked me, can you tell me something about it was a library day and they wanted me to play. So I made this. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
पुस्तक की दुनिया में आओ मनु पुस्तक में क्या है ये जानो मनु पुस्तक की दुनिया में आओ मनु पुस्तक में क्या है ये जानो मनु इधर उधर मुझे फेंको नहीं अच्छी तरह से संभालो मनु बड़ी काम की मैं हूँ मनु मुझसे ही ज्ञान प्राप्त होती मनु पुस्तक की दुनिया में आओ मनु पुस्तक में क्या है ये जानो मनु अब पपट Right. Somebody was asking about yeah, G Boopo. I would like to show because this is a children's favorite. I had done for one of my uh, play. So this is a G Boomba, uh, uh, interesting character. Again, a moving one. So this also you can try. I'm just showing you all this because we, these are the simple things which anybody can do. There is nothing that oh, some Brahma Vidya hai isme. Eh, nothing, nothing. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. And of the little bit of colors and combinations, that's it, right? Uh, somebody was asking me about the puppets at the back. Okay, these are my big puppets. Mulla Sab is taller than me. आदाब सबको कैसे हैं आप लोग उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आपको आज की ये प्रोग्राम जो कर रही हैं वो आपको पसंद आया क्या बोल रहे हो आप लोग यस देर इज अ हैंड रेस्ड बाय वन इन मलयालम आई कैनॉट रीड मलयालम आई कैन स्पीक एंड अंडरस्टैंड सो यू कैन आस्क मी Somebody has raised hand. Okay. So, ah, uh, this is a uh, two past participant raised hand. Ah, uh, Maharaj Kani Kani Mori, is it Kani Mori? Maharaj Kani, please uh, ask me what you want to ask. Uh -huh. For the hair, what is the material you are using, ma'am? For the hair, and now. Uh, for this, at least, I have not used anything. He has a. I've just put a cap. My child's, mm -hmm. my son's cap. I've just colored. And uh, for others, I use wool. Sometimes I use. Um, for the socks puppet, I have seen something. Mm -hmm. I know what is. For the socks, socks puppet, I have used a different kinds. Of course, not one. One is a fur. One is a fur. I have used uh, for uh, socks puppet, and for this lady, I have used wool. You can see, and uh, the one which I showed you with uh, perhaps this, she also has a fur, a long fur. Long fur when you cut, it becomes a hair. Long fur if you cut, it becomes a hair. If you can see. uh if you want to take up any puppet course what is the procedure ma'am the simple procedure is to contact me that's it and uh, for this i have used uh, you see a long uh, what they call for this uh, uh yarn something like that yes we do conduct a certificate course in teaching with puppets uh you can check down my contact or you can even look into my website you can definitely drop a mail and we'll uh, when it is on i shall contact you uh, a website is yes i shall type it over here hope i am free to do it mm -hmm. sure sure what happens to my chat it is a s t e p uh, all small s t e p yeah, it's opening up here um uh okay uh email id is 
S T E P A R C numerical one at gmail.com. You can go. And the website is www.sportytheater.com. Oh, yeah. Okay, that goes. So for this, I have used the yard or something like this. You can use anything. You can even use uh, black cotton, cotton cloth, cut it and also you can use it. And this, for the, this, the lady who is sitting at the back, I need to show her, otherwise she'll get upset. Let me excuse myself. A very beautiful lady. Okay. For her, I have used the supplement hair, which I use for the making of um, doll, a uh, miniature doll. And this is supplement hair that we get in the shops. That's a supplement hair, right? Yeah. She is newly made for a purpose, for a tabletop puppet. So she says I'm more, most of the time I'm here, 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 here. You have to look here, uh, yes. Uh, I'm making a tabletop puppets, uh, which can be easily operated and used in the classroom or also in the my other productions, all right? So she is made with the same kind. Again, she has uh, lots of things of waste going inside her. I cannot uh, describe that now to you. What are the waste material? But yes, I, but this part is paper mesh. Her face is paper mesh. Her hands are made out of um, uh, 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 thermocol. I have carved with the thermocol pieces. I've carved it. And I have joined it with uh, lots of papers and tubes. And what goes inside her body is a secret. Okay. And I wanted to shoot this as a last so that anybody interested i'll be i will be conducting this workshop sh shortly all right can you guess she's made up of what she's a teacher like you best clue south indian should be able to guess well uh kerala and tamil uh, tamilian should guess well no, not four. No paper mache. Not basket. Ah, a big clue I have given. We use it. Oh yes, coconut. Yes, coconut shells. Oh yes. She is made out of coconut shells. So this workshop I'll be hosting very soon of making a coconut shell uh, puppet and her Body is made up of plastic water. Can you hear? Can you see? Plastic water. So this workshop I'll be holding. So this is a very simple and very light weight. Very, very light. And she can be used anywhere and she goes everywhere. You can use her. And she's a tabletop. She sits also in the class. Okay, she cannot sit here because you cannot see her. Sits in the class and she can. And, and one person can hold it with one hand and you can operate with one hand talking it down. All right. So this I wanted to show you and this one with the another socks because you have seen one variety of socks. There's one more variety of socks I wanted to show you. And let me show you this variety also. This is again a talking one. A sock. Uh, how do may how to make a stick? What's that? What's that feedback? Uh, why this chat is not okay? Uh, how many? Uh, somebody asked how to how oh, how to it is how to go. Are somebody had put some question. How to, what's that? How do made stick arm puppet? Stick arm puppet, uh, the one which I showed, a uh, big one. Are you talking about that or what are you talking? Who has, question, uh, has put that question? Uh, can just uh, speak to me? Can uh, 
unmute and ask me. Stick arm puppet is which uh, regarding which puppet are you talking about? Okay. Well, uh, so there are many more to show you all, but they are inside here. And the time also needs to, I posted my website. I already posted my website. Uh, kindly see in the chat box, I have posted it. Um, uh, and uh, I should know, I, I believe I have crossed the time or something like that. Uh, Abdul sir, you have to let me know. If I've exceeded my time, yes, then please let because me know. Uh, participants started, you know, signing out. And right. also time is up. Okay, Jody, thank you. Uh, yeah. Right, right. So thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for such an enlightening session. Uh, experiential, innovative ideas, creative, awesome, fantastic. Like the list is en endless. The yes. audience is enthralled with the kind of amazing work you have shown. And I feel proud to be a part of this session. Thank you so much. Uh, we had uh, many questions from the audience and you have answered most of them. The only question which is like uh, appearing or popping up again and again is the one where in like the proportion of salt and methi they were asking. All right, and okay, okay, okay. See the uh, proportion of salt and methi is the uh, only thing is how much of the papers we are taking. Uh, usually when I take uh, 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 a four or uh, four or five full sheets of newspaper, when, when I'm when no, I no, just, just they are asking the ratio, ma'am, just the ratio. Yeah, yeah, for the ratio I'm telling, when I take a full sheet like this or four or five full sheets of the newspapers, when I tear it and make it, and what the size of the pulp I get, based on that, we take uh, one or two uh, heap full of methi and add it. Uh, sure, and salt is just uh, peaceful, that's it. While soaking, oh. while soaking, that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes. So here we ra wrap up our question, answer, and the whole session. I hope our educators will appreciate the learning and this informative session. And we'll definitely apply these techniques. Thank you so much, ma'am. I have great, so many takeaways from this session. And it's such a great honor and privilege to get this opportunity to thank you, ma'am, and everyone else here. Kindly note that the attendance link and the feedback form is already posted in the chat box. Please fill it before you leave. I, on behalf of Harat Sahodia, express our heartfelt gratitude and deep sense of appreciation to Ms. Padmini Rangarajan for being a, such a wonderful uh, and uh, enriching resource for us. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing such valuable information with all of us. We truly gained an experience that will last for long. I extend my deep gratitude to Dr. Abdul Salam sir for his unprecedented support and guidance. And a special thanks to our wonderful IT and technical team, Mr. Arun Mohan sir and Arafat sir. Last but not the least, my heartfelt gratitude to all the educational fraternity for their uh, excellent participation, I must say, and the humble support. Education is the path to innovation. We will meet you in the next webinar with another interesting topic, with another eminent resource person. Now, I would like, uh, like to request Dr. Salam, sir, to wind up the session. Thank you, Jodi and ma'am, for the nice job you have done for helping us throughout. And uh, <clears throat> our gratitude goes to Patnini, ma'am. It was a brilliant session and lots of appreciations by each and everyone in the chat box, you can see. So <clears throat> your hard work is paid. And uh, one thing is very sure, very clear that uh, it needs passion and dedication. And uh, also, when as teachers, we have to put in expressions and emotions when you convey the concept to the children. Yes. So these are the lessons I have you know, learned from this particular session from Patmini ma'am. Let's all follow this. And uh, if you have, you know, we cannot bring out you know, all the nine rasa 
in the classroom but we can you know <laughs> uh, put up a few uh, rasa like you know special expressions and your speech modulation etc that will make the students very you know uh, engaged and interested in the learning so thank you so much uh, patmini ma'am uh, all we are enjoying the session maybe you know uh, people have different uh, types of work at home and uh, that's why that's the reason they are signing out can, time you know uh, is a matter i can also understand that <laughs> yes so thank, thank you, you so much yeah thank you ma'am we will meet again thank you for you know yeah, this is a great service to the education yes. uh, fraternity and thank you jodi jain ma'am arun mohan sir all the educators who have joined us today Uh, we will meet again thank you so much we will be wiling and uh, the uh, feedback form is posted which is very uh, which is a permanent link which you can save it for all the sessions thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you jodi ma'am thank, thank you, you all we thank all of you for joining us and for your time stay safe stay healthy